Well, hello there, chaps, and welcome back to Dream Daddy. Uh, I think we're coming up on the end of the game, guys. Uh, I just recorded the last episode of Dream, da Dream Daddy a few moments ago. Uh, we were helping out Amanda with some really heartbreaking issues that she was going through with her friends. And, uh, but we're finally back to, uh, you know, the important thing, us, and, uh, we're gonna be going on that third date with Brian, which I've really been looking forward to. So, we are in the dad book, we have our choices, I know some of you guys really want me to go on a lot of dates with all of them, but I just, I like Brian, I like Brian, you know, when, once you find somebody you like, you really don't need to keep beating that horse, you know, you just, you just hook up with them, right? I like Brian, I'm going with Brian, so, uh... Let's go with Brian. Oh, you know what they say about third dates. They get pretty serious. Are you sure this is your dream daddy? Ooh. Oh, I know what I just said, but now I'm all like, oh, is it, is it? No, I'm going with my gut. I'm following my heart. Brian's the guy, I'm sure. I spend the day lounging around the house in my bathrobe and slippers. Committed to enjoying my day off as a testament to dad laziness around the world. Whoa, burr, 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 burr. I didn't just minimize the game. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Around the world. Third coffee of the day and doing my second word jumble in pen. Man, this is the life. Okay, that does actually sound pretty good. Hey, this one spells door. Huh. You're still taking me to the fair later, right? Uh. There's a fair. Dad, it's literally around the corner from us. It's not ringing a bell. I came home yesterday with cotton candy. Nope, nothing. Ugh. I gave you a teddy bear that I won, specifically stating where and when I got it. Mm -hmm. Not ringing a bell. Seriously? Amanda walks to the windowsill and slides the drapes open. There's a big Ferris wheel in the distance. Oh, right. That one. I thought you meant another carnival. You're coming with me tonight, right? Gosh, honey, I don't know. I've got all this stuff to do. I look down at the mug of coffee and word jumble in my hands. Pressing business I need to attend to. Amanda points to my word jumble. Park, dog, clock, cereal. That's actually incredible. I'm not even mad. I knew that. I totally knew that. And the secret word they all spell out is pool. Hey, you're pretty good at this. Now, you don't have an excuse. You're coming with me. Amanda pushes me into my bedroom and forces me to change out of my bathrobe. Wear something nice. I want some arm candy tonight. Oh, <laughs> got it. And no flip-flops. Not after last time. We don't talk about last time. <laughs> Amanda and I step outside and follow the faint sound of carnival music. So, what's the first thing you're going to do out at the fair? Eat greasy food, like deep fry everything and put it in my mouth. I don't care if it isn't tasty to start. I believe that the deep frying process can transmute any non-tasty thing into a tasty thing. Ain't that the truth? Words to live by, amazing daughter. Please don't throw up this time. <laughs> I know my limits. Do you? Do you? Because I don't know if I trust your limits. You said that last time. I was still celebrating. I'm dialed, or I was still calibrating. That's not celebrating. I know how to read. I'm dialed in now. You'll ride the rides with me, right? If you're looking for someone to ride scary rides with, that's a straight veto from the dad constituency. Nailed it. However, I'm happy to stand at the fence and take blurry pictures of you riding the rides as per yeah. dad custom. Define scary rides. Anything that moves. <laughs> well, you're no one. Hmm, maybe I'll find someone at the carnival who'll go with me. Wouldn't that be a surprise? Yeah, maybe one of your friends from school will be there, like, uh, who's that one with the eyebrows? Teresa? She's got mono. Uh, what about the one who vapes? <laughs> Alex got suspended for vaping in the school bathroom. Boy, I wish I was vaping right now. That would be perfect. Well, I hear carnival rides are fun as a solo rider, but then I'll have no one to puke on. Or will I? What? Hey, look, we're here. 
The carnival is packed with people from all over town. Tonight, screaming kids running around with cotton candy and buckets of soda clutched in their grubby fists. Colorful lights flash all around us. I feel like just smelling the air will clog my arteries. Aren't carnivals the best? Hey, let's go over these, go over to these greasy food carts first. Amanda leads me by the hand in what seems like a very specific direction. I know my favorite one is around here somewhere. Wait a second, is that Brian? Oh. Wow, look who it is. Sure enough, it's Brian and his daughter Daisy. Brian has the same confused look on his face that I'm sure I have. Mm. What a coincidence that we all happen to be here at the same time in the same exact place. Wow, this is so weird. You Can you believe we just happened to come to the carnival on the same night at the same time? <gasps> Collusion. It was Daisy and Amanda. They're trying to get us together. Oh, kids. Mm. Oh, kids. Yes, Daisy. That's so strange. How bizarre. Brian! Wolf! I can feel my competitive fire burning inside me again. Yeah, it's not competitive fire that you feel burning inside you, Wolfcore. I can feel my competitive fire burning inside me again. Last we met, Brian had made a fool of me by, by besting me at fishing and then out humbling me in front of my very own daughter. I still want that whole song. <laughs> There's plenty of midway games here. Oh, Okay, how about we hang out as a team and explore the carnival together? Yes, Amanda, that sounds like an amazing idea. Let's all go and do stuff together. Amanda and I follow Brian and Daisy as they lead us towards some rides. I can't believe Brian's here. Dad, you need to relax. Daisy and I have been spending a lot of time together. She helps me with my algebra homework, and I've been corrupting her young soul with rock and roll music. Hmm. It's my daughter. She's really cool, but you and Brian won't stop complaining about each other. Oh, he's complaining about me? No, Dad, that's not what I meant. If you and Brian would just talk to each other, maybe you would see that you have a lot in common. See, now I gotta turn it up to 11. Brian's getting obliterated. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dad, you have to chill. Please chill, for my sake. I'm chill, I'm so chill. I'm like stupidly chill. <laughs> And once I prove once and for all that I'm clearly the better dad, I'll be so chill you could call me Liquid Nitrogen. Nailed it. I will destroy him. Dad! I spot the entrance to the midway. A perfect opportunity. Hey Brian, check it out. Want to get a couple games in? That sounds fun. Maybe a little friendly competition? Mm -hmm. No, we wanted to check out some clowns over there. Oh, why? Amanda, you're scared of clowns. Uh. Overruled. Ugh, fine, sure. Let's play some games. But if we spend the whole night in there, I'm filing for emancipation. Not gonna happen. Oh, lighten up. I, I'll win you something nice. And I'll win you something nice too, Daisy. I'll win more nice things than uh. you got in. I'd like to see you try. Brian and I glare at each other. We've been at it for longer than I'd like to admit. Amanda and Daisy sigh heavily at each other. New game, Brian and I challenge each other to. Oh, boy, I sure read that poorly. We've been at it for longer than I'd like to admit. Amanda and Daisy sigh heavily at each new game, Brian and I challenge each other to. Their arms overburn with stuffed animals and t-shirts with rainbows airbrushed onto them. For every game I win, Brian seems to answer back. Dad, please, enough. Just one last game. Hey. So, Wolf, we're tied. What's the ultimate prize? I spot it from across the midway. We lock eyes. It swims absentmindedly in a bowl of water. That goldfish will be mine. Amanda, sweetie, how about I win you a goldfish? Aww. If it'll get us out of here, scrape! I look over at Brian. We don't say a word, but our locked eyes confirm it. The person who wins the goldfish wins the hey. night. Looks like it's skee-ball. You any good? Dot, dot, dot. I am the best skee-ball player to ever grace this earth. Think you can handle me? Still willing to put up your weed whacker? Only if you're willing to part with that pole saw. Lawn grooming equipment goes to the skee-ball champ. We share an earnest shake. Ski that ball. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, um, okay. Yeah, boy. 
Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Fitty. Fitty. 30, okay. Oh, I'm good at these 40s. Oh, damn it. Yes, I must win. I need the equipment. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I found the sweet spot. I found the sweet spot. Yeah. Oh, I'm crushing him. Yes. Yes. I want to look at his score. Oh, I don't want to mess up. Yes. Come on. Another 50. Get it, son. Get it. Okay, I'm going for hundos. Yeah. Oh, hundos are hard to hit. Oh, I'm crushing him. <gasps> yeah, baby. Got another S. He should have known who he was messing with. I'm the greatest skee ball player that has ever lived. The bell sounds and lights flash. I f it feels like things are moving in slow motion. The guy running the booth points me. I turn to look at Brian, and his face is priceless. The attendant reaches up and dumps the goldfish into a plastic baggie. My hands shake as he passes it over to me. I've done it. I've finally done it. The fish is mine. The pole saw is mine. Victory is mine. I have bested Brian. You won? Fair and square? I hold the goldfish above my head, branching it aloft for the world to see. <laughs> Be cool. Speech, speech, speech. I couldn't have done it without Amanda. I'm gonna I'm gonna be cool. I like this guy. I think better of my hubris and slowly lower the goldfish back into Amanda's hands. <laughs> it was nothing. Amanda, what would you like to name your new friend? How about Brian? Aw. It's to Amanda? Et -ta. Yes. I want to go on the Ferris wheel next. Yeah, I want to ride the Ferris <laughs> wheel. Of course. I'll hang out and watch you guys. Still not a fan of carnival rides. I'll be happy to ride some rides with you kids. Oh, Brian's stepping up the game. I'm just kidding. I love carnival rides. I'm the best at them. <laughs> we traverse the far end up at the relatively short line for the Ferris wheel. It doesn't seem like a very popular ride. Daisy and Amanda chat excitedly. I can feel Brian glaring at me. So how'd you do on the trick final? Way better than I thought I would. Those cozine, those cousin problems still tripped me up. So I drew a cat instead of answering the question. And my teacher gave me a point for effort. Oh, that's nice. Wow, is high school really that easy? Absolutely yes. The school of hard knocks though. That's another story. Amanda playfully punches Daisy on the arm. Welcome to the streets. Mm. You check out that art book I gave you? Yeah, I love that section on female photographers. Yeah. You have good taste. You know, I bet your photos will be in a book mm -hmm. someday. Daisy, stop or I'll cry. They're too cute. Next. Amanda pushes me forward. You first. I sit down in the carriage. And now you. Daisy pushes Brian into the carriage next to me. Before I can say anything, the ride operator closes the gate. Oh, how romantic. Now wait just a second. We're going to go get some deep fried pickles. You two take this time to work out your differences. Hold on. Get along. <laughs> Amanda and Daisy run off into the crowd. The ride starts moving. I sit in the Ferris wheel with my arms crossed, not talking to Brian. I don't even know what Amanda's talking about. Neither do I. Our carriage creeps slowly upwards. Ferris wheels are boring. Could this ride go any slower? Oh, is it too fast for you? That's not what I meant. <laughs> How could this get any worse? Suddenly the ride jerks to a halt with us at the very top of the wheel. I can hear the faint yell of the ride operator down below. Sorry folks, ride stuck. Guess a raccoon must have stolen a key component to the motor. They're very crafty animals and are frequently attracted to the shiny objects. So it makes sense that they would pilfer something like that. Just like Rocket the raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. Always. Anyway, it'll be some time before we can get y'all down, settle in, and get cozy. Well, at least we're getting our money's worth. And hey, no hand stuff while you're up there. Well, the... And no mouth stuff either. Well, that eliminates a lot of the best options. Well, this is just great. 
I look down over the expanse of the carnival. I hate to admit it, but it's a pretty good view. I spot someone down at the food cart, melting cheese onto a pile of steaming steak and peppers. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Why didn't we get funnel cake first? My stomach rumbles. Oh, I know that sound. Ryan reaches into his cargo shorts and pulls out some fruit leather, offering it to me. Cherry or mango? I don't want your stupid fruit leather. <gasps> Ryan opens one and starts eating it. Fine. My stomach growls again. God damn it, why didn't I take the fruit leather? We sit in silence as a crowd begins to form under us, a group of carnival workers attempting to restart the engine. I suddenly remember that I have a tiny book of word jumbles and a golf pencil in my pocket. I pull them out and start working on a fresh page, determined not to look at Brian. Hey, I always bring a puzzle book with me too. Brian pulls out a small book of crossword puzzles and a pen. Are you kidding me? I throw my book of word jumbles off the side of the Ferris wheel in a fit of rage. Oh, I bet we could find it when we get off this thing. Here, you can do my crossword. Brian holds his book and pen out to me with a smile. Absolutely not. <laughs> Why do you hate me so much? Hate you? Why do you think you're better Whoa. than me? What? I don't think I'm better than you. Okay, so you were just offering me fruit snacks and crosswords out of the kindness Whoa. of your heart? What? Yes! A likely story. All you do is brag about your smart kid and your landscape and your stupid weed whacker. I'm sick of it! Whoa. And all you do is one-up me every chance you get. The only thing I wouldn't win is a one-upping other... Wait. The only thing I wouldn't win is a one-upping other people competition. Because you would win that. Because that's okay. what you do. I don't do it on purpose. Wait, what? You're messing with me, right? No. But... I don't think I'm better than you. At all. You and your daughter are amazing. I thought you were competing just for fun at first, but the more we started doing it, the more it felt like you must hate me. And the more we did it, the more I wanted to impress you. There were times when I did want to beat you, Wolf, but really all I wanted was for you to like me. Oh my god, I feel like such an ass. Be honest with Brian. Be honest with yourself. Be an asshole. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest with, with Brian. I let my competitive spirit get in the way. Actually, no, I let my own insecurities get in the way, and I've been a huge dick to you for no reason. I'm sorry. To tell you the truth, I think we could be really good friends if I could ever make it up to you. I respect you a lot. We sit in silence for a second. Can we start over? What do you mean? From the beginning. Brian holds out his hand. Hi, I'm Brian. I take his hand and shake it vigorously. Hey, Brian. I'm Wolf. It's really nice to meet you. Great shirt. Thanks, Wolf. Brian and I look at each other. We both share a smirk over this silly little game, but it feels good to be on the same side for once. All right, folks, thanks for being patient. Turns out the raccoon didn't steal apart, but was instead still rummaging around in the inner workings of the engine. We formed a wary yet mutual, mutually beneficial truce. The carriage starts moving and we find ourselves down on dry land in no time. Oh, I'm glad the raccoon's okay. Brian and I wander off for a bit, looking for Daisy and Amanda. You know, getting stuck on that first wheel could have been a lot worse. I'm glad we worked oh. things out. Me too, buddy. Ah. Now that that's over with, we can both get home to quietly enjoy our evenings. Agreed. Dad! <laughs> Amanda and Daisy run up to us. I think your kids will be pleased to find out that Brian and I have worked out our diff. Or dad, that's great and all, but Brian's in trouble. But Brian's right... He the fish, Brian! Ah. What? Daisy and I get on the long flume, and when we were going down the hill, Brian just flew right... Wait. Oh, Brian the fish. God, I was getting confused there for a second. Brian is also the fish's name. Brian just flew right out of the log, and now he's hanging from some pipe on the ride. We have to save him. Of course we have to save Brian the fish. That's just a given. But Brian's right. The fish! Ah. Now he gets it. Now he gets it. We're on the same page, me and him. The fish. Brian, the fish. Oh, right. Come on. We sprint over to the log flume, spotting Brian, the fish, stuck up in the rafters of the ride. We'll get you down, little buddy. We have to get Brian before the fair closes, or who knows what'll happen well. to him. He'll probably die. But the fair closes in 10 minutes. I guess we need to hustle then. What's the plan? Well, one ride around the track lasts 90 seconds. 
seconds. Brian's hanging from a pipe right above the drop, so you'll have a window of about 10 seconds Aww. to grab him. Wow, did you just do all that math in your head? That's really impressive. I... I just counted. It's not that impressive. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, honey. Okay. That rafter is pretty high up. How are we going to reach him? We all think for a second. I've got it. Brian runs over to the midway to the last game that we played and snags the pole from the game attended that they used to grab stuffed animals. I think this will do the trick. Amanda presses two ticket oh. stubs into my hand. Here, these are our last two tickets. Brian's fate is in your hands now. Uh, there's no time, come on. Brian leads me by the hand to the entrance of the log flume. Getting there just in the nick of time. Looks like you guys are the last ones. We take our seats on the slippery vinyl. The ride operator pulls the bar down over our laps. You ready for this? The log starts drifting down the fake river. Unfortunately, blue water sloshes over the side, soaking my shoes. This is gross. You know how earlier I said that I was the best at carnival rides? The ride jerks forward and I let out a small yelp. That might have been an embellishment. Our rickety log makes the slow climb up the track for the most grueling minute of my life. I see him! Hanging from the rafters, just before the drop, is our beloved Brian, the fish, not the guy. Are you ready? I don't think I can reach it from where I'm sitting. It's all up to you, buddy. Brian presses the fishing pole into my hand. Oh god, I don't know if I can do this. Hey, I believe in you. I gulp. I can do this. Let's do this. Fish. Wait, what? Fishing around here is easy. They grow up. All you gotta do is line up three of the same species and reel them in. Match that fish. Okay. Match of the day. Easy. <laughs> I was so nervous. I was like, oh, what's gonna happen? With the precision only attainable from playing midway games at a competitive level, I hook the baggie that contains Brian the fish and place it onto my lap. I did it. I did it! I grasp the bag firmly. He'll be nice and safe during the dr Oh god, the drop! I momentarily forget there forgot there was a drop. It's a big drop. Oh, it's coming up real fast. Oh man, it's a big drop. Uh so when I told you that I had sort of over exaggerated my proficiency with carnival rides, it turns out that I had under exaggerated just how bad I am with them. I am utterly and completely terrified of carnival rides. Ryan looks over to me and takes my hand in his <laughs> I'm right here. We can do this. He gives my hand a squeeze as our long as our log tips over the edge and flies down the drop. Ah! <laughs> a wall of water rains down on us. I realize I had my eyes squeezed shut and opened them to find Brian still holding my hand. He smiles at me. That wasn't so bad. I told you we would make it. love this game. Brian and I walk off the carnival ride and approach Daisy and Amanda. I hand the baggie to Amanda. Brian! Hey! No, the fish! Aww. I mean, hey! Thanks for saving the fish. Don't thank me. That was all your dad. Aw, shucks. It was a team effort. Yeah. You all used your special skills to get him back. Brian got the pole. Daisy did the math and you got the fish. <laughs> I didn't get to do anything cool. Well, honey... I'm sure you... Hey, what were you guys doing up there? That was totally dangerous, says the ride operator. Amanda steps in front of all of us and what? plants her feet. Listen, dude, I might have been totally dangerous. It might have been totally dangerous, but I'll have you know that we triumphed over more than just your silly rules today. We overcame adversity through teamwork and friendship and love. Yeah. We banded together to achieve a common goal, and here we stand stronger than the sum of our parts. And for you two, I actually don't care. The fair's closing. Just get out of here. <laughs> the ride operator hmm. wanders off. You really are a sparkling conversationalist. <laughs> we join the crowd of fairgoers, slowly ambling back to the parking lot. You kids want to stick around for the fireworks? Uh, do we have to? I have never seen a child less enthusiastic about fireworks. Yeah, can we just go home? You've been hauling all these prizes around for hours and my back is killing me. You kids run on ahead. We'll catch up with you later tonight. Amanda and Daisy skip along. 
We'll probably find them later, curled up on my couch and watching long-haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers. Brian and I sit down on the bench, a little further away from the rest of the crowd, who've all gathered to catch the fireworks. Hell of a day, huh? You can say that again. Hell of a day, huh? <laughs> Bad jokes. This is the one time I will let you out, Dad. <laughs> I'll take it. I breathe in the cool night air as the first firework launches and explodes in the sky over the fair. I'm glad we talked about all that stuff. Me too. It's good to have a friend like you, Brian. Fireworks launch into full swing, bursting around us in a rainbow of reds, greens, blues, and whites. There's one more thing I have to admit, though. What's that? I don't know anything about fishing. Brian bursts out laughing. Oh, buddy. I know. <laughs> what? You knew the whole time? I mean, you were... You weren't exactly subtle about it. I can feel myself blushing. He laughs again. It's okay. It was cute. If you're interested, maybe I could teach you sometime. That's what friends do, right? Ha! <laughs> the laughter dies down, and we watch the fireworks a little longer. I can tell he wants to say something, but he's having trouble getting it out. You know, it's kind of funny. What is? We're not fighting anymore, but I still feel like we've left some stuff uh, unresolved. Oh, lawn mowing is still happening. We're cool now, but don't think I've forgotten about that. Brian laughs. No, it's not that. Don't you feel like there's maybe something else here? Yes. <laughs> or is it just me? Looking at Brian, his smile illuminated by the crackling embers falling through the night sky, I suddenly understand what he's talking about. Oh. This whole time, with emotions running so high, I realize what I've really been feeling. What I thought was jealousy was actually... It's not just you. Brian inches right. towards me. You know, it's hard paying attention to the fireworks when you're right here. He and I lean in and our lips touch. He places one hand on my shoulder, then another at the base of my neck, gently pulling me closer to him in a warm embrace. Oh, I feel safe. Brian pulls away from me for a moment and smiles. I guess now we get to compete over who's better at kissing. <laughs> Brian stifles a laugh and pulls me in for another. I'll accept that challenge. Oh, my heart, my soul. <laughs> sure enough, when I get home, Amanda and Daisy are passed out on the sofa, surrounded by giant stuffed animals. Amanda snoring drowns out the paranormal ice road truckers still playing on TV. I turn everything off and throw a couple of blankets over the kids before heading to bed myself. We did it! We did it! Oh, oh, so good. Not bad. A B, a B. How did I get a B? How did I get that? Was that was an S? That was an S. I don't care what that says. That was an S. I'm gonna drink some tea. So what's left at this point? We uh, maybe there's just sort of like a a, a little closing thing. So since this is feeling like the last episode to me, I'm just gonna keep playing ahead. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got an achievement. Soft boy. Hmm, okay. You're calling me soft. I'm hard as a rock. I got an... I don't know why. I had that sitting there. That was weird. Phew, I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act normal. Be cool. Wolf, be cool. Amanda walks through the door with a sp suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Mm. Something fishy? Rats. What? No. You ask too many questions. Sorry, sweetie. It's the feds. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. It's the feds. That life of crime is finally catching up to you. I tried to send them in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power and funding of the Aww. U.S. government. Well, if they think they're going to take me alive, they've got another thing coming. I'm kidding, you're right. I have a little surprise Aww. for you. Yeah? I can tell. You're very bad at lying. Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Father, it would be fill my heart with glee. I lead Amanda over to the kitchen table, where a present lies covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but... Aw, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaw drops. 
no way. I figure you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. A DVD box set of long haul paranormal ice road tr ghost truckers. This is all 19 seasons, holy shit. <laughs> and bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. Dad, I love this. Thank you. She gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pigskin yeah. or something? Totally. I follow Amanda to the back door. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, it's everybody. Hi, everybody. You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. <laughs> so considering this your graduation party. Surprise! Dad, everyone's here. Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support yes. you. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Sure is. Fully customizable down to the type of mac. And there's an ice cream cake. The good kind with the crunchies yes. in the middle. Ooh, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, all right? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. I should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. Mm. Hey, bro. Bro! This is a real rager, taking our old, older age into consideration. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me hey. get too wild. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on your fruit punch intake. You know, I'm really glad we're bros again. Me too, dude. Brian and Hazel peek out behind Craig. Hi, little ones. Hello. Hiya. Thank you for the all... Blah, 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 blah. Thank you for all the ice cream cake. Wait, girls, how much of that did you eat? <laughs> Ryer ate four pieces. Ask any witness. No, I didn't. Hey, Hazel ate four pieces and wants to pin it on me because we look alike. <laughs> I have your face. Nobody will ever believe you. Oh, boy. I'll let you guys figure this out. Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang hey. out soon, yeah? Totally. Tell Amanda congrats for us. Looks like you've settled into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yep. Couldn't ask for a better cul-de-sac. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully we'll see you at more church events. We got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. Sure thing, Joseph. And maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime. Sure, Joseph. That'd be great. Well, see you later. Hugo comes up up to me with a plate of oh. mac and cheese. The perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Wolf. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she turned into turned it around for finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. Amanda walks by and pretends to not see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey. Congratulations on graduating. I know you're going to do great things at art school. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer ha hold power ah. over me. You're right. Go forth, adults. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm going to break anything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? Oh. No. Nope. And I'll have you know that the globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place, so she'll fit into college just fine. Hey, Robert, glad you could make it. <laughs> hey, Robert. <laughs> Don't talk to Brian. <laughs> yep. Robert takes a sip of his drink. Why is he being so cold to me? <laughs> Everything okay? Sure. <laughs> Why won't you talk to me? I thought we had whoa, something. Whoa. Come on, Wolf. You know what this was. I... Uh -huh. You were an object to me, the same way I thought I was an object to you. I figured we were on the same page here, at least for how you were acting. But I, want, but I don't want to be in this, if there are feelings involved. I got too much to deal with, as it is. Boy, I got Brian to deal with. Get the fuck out. Yeah. I'll catch you around. Bye. Hey, man. Aw, oh, Matt. Oh, I love Matt. Hey, man. Matt! Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of the talking banana breads ready for her. Thank you. I know she'll oh. love that. What a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. This icebox cake is divine. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. 
Thanks for coming by. I see Daisy and Amanda in a corner of the party and walk up to them. I swear if you two are planning another parent trap. Relax, Dad. We already won the game. We're just having a friendly chat. Tell me... Tell more about... Tell me more about college. I can read. Slow down, kiddo. You're not even in middle school yet. But I want to go to class in my PJs now. I mean, nothing's hmm. stopping you. But Daisy, I hear you. I know you're stoked on college and skipping grades and taking over the world with science, but you gotta enjoy being a kid first. That's very true. It's the best time in your life. Growing up is weird. It's scary, and eventually you'll be able to rent a car. But you gotta get through middle school in one piece first. You know how you wish you were going to college? I wish I was in fifth grade. I want recess and snack time back. Cherish it while it lasts, girl. You got a big future ahead of you, but I don't want you growing up too fast on us, all right? All right. Thanks, Amanda. I ease away slowly. Amanda seems like she has a handle on the situation. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting, and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So, I, uh, I also have something for you. For me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but growing up wasn't easy. But it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for me f through everything. There's, There's been times in my life where you were my only friend. I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this, and I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry. Don't cry. I swear to God, Wolf, if you cry again, you're the best dad. I love you. And I'm crying. Anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. <laughs> Present time. Amanda, ha <clears throat> Amanda hands me a tiny wrapped package. I tear the wrapping off to find a framed picture of me and Amanda. It's hmm. us. Kind of shocking. All of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figure we needed at least one together before I leave. Amanda, thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock him dead, kid. Always do. Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to uh. break, right? Oh, I'm going to break so much stuff, intentionally and unintentionally, you're probably going to have to pay for most of it. We got the Achievement World's Best Dad. Oh. It would be my honor. Amanda hops up. Looks like somebody's been waiting to talk to you. I glance over to the back of the yard, where Brian is sitting on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. He's smiling yeah. at me. I'll leave you to it. Me and the Emmas are going to go get ice cream. Love you, Pops. Amanda runs off to join her friends. I take a seat next to Brian as the last guests make their way out of the party. Hey. Nice job. I couldn't have thrown a better party myself. I smile. So are we doing, like, opposite competition now? <laughs> yeah, we're just going to com compliment each other relentlessly. <laughs> I bet you could do more push-ups than me. I bet you're better with computers than I am. I bet you could trim a tree faster than I could. I bet you could de-ice a sidewalk more thoroughly than me. <laughs> oh, we're so cute. I like this a lot better. Brian blushes. I nestle myself into the soft place between Brian's shoulder and chest. No matter how many times he washes that shirt, I bet he'll never get the smell of campfire out of it. Not that I mind. Hey. Got a long summer coming. Interested in some more fishing trips with me, Daisy and Amanda? As long as you'll save me again if I fall into the water, oh. I'd be happy to. Gotta sneak in as much father and daughter time as possible before Amanda heads out. Also, be careful. She's probably going to try to steal your dog and take him with her to college. I also get the feeling Daisy might try to stow away in her suitcase, so watch out for that. The sunset casts a pink glow over everything, and a quiet calm seems to descend upon the backyard. It reminds me of the lake. I'm glad we're not rivals anymore. Me too. Although I don't think I've ever been more productive than I was when I was trying to one-up you. <laughs> Uh, maybe a little friendly competition is what we both needed. I sigh and nuzzle against Brian a little harder. I am the cuddle champion. 
We'll see about that. Oh, oh this game is so fucking cute. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Oh, my heart. I didn't, I didn't cry. I didn't cry. But I, I, uh, heavy, heavy, positive, heavy, happy emotions at the end there. This game really did give me the feels, and I really did love it. If you haven't played it for yourself, I would highly recommend it. It's, it's not a typical game. I've never played a game like this, but it was an absolute blast. I really, genuinely enjoyed it. Like, it was a great game. probably gonna just like play it again on my own sometime just just because it's just like a, such a positive wonderful happy little game and uh, uh I, I could keep gushing about it but i'm gonna stop um thank you guys so much for watching if you watched the whole series i appreciate you so much if you've watched just this episode to the end i appreciate you so much please like the video before you go if you did enjoy it subscribe if you're new i love your guys' faces so much beard hearts and I will see you next time. Bye.